welcome to Big Sis and You. My name is Miriam and I hope you guys are doing great. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and comment down below. If you guys are liking the videos that I'm putting out there, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this channel because I do have great content coming out for you guys. And if you ever feel like you want to skip the intro or you want to skip to the first or second or third example, you can always do that on the description box down below. I have timestamps for that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the topic that I have prepared for you guys today. Today we're looking at negative exponents. So I do have a video on introduction to exponents and you get to learn how to evaluate exponents. So you can go ahead and take a look at that. But today we're just looking at the negative aspect of exponents. Taking a look at this, negative n represents the negative exponent. Or power. If you want to understand what we mean by an exponent or power, you can take a look at my video on introduction to exponents. And then b right here represents base. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with negative exponents. We just like to switch it to a positive because it's easier to work with positive numbers. So how do you change a negative exponent to a positive? So we have our negative exponent here. When it's written in positive, all it is is 1 over b to the power of n. So now our negative n has been changed to a positive n. So now we have a positive number. Now let's take a look at a couple examples. In this case, we have 4 to the power of negative 6. So that is the same thing as writing 1 over 4 to the power of 6. So now we have it changed to positive. In this case, we have 5 to the power of negative 3. It's the same thing as writing 1 over 5 to the power of 3. Now, this may look a little bit confusing, but it's really not. It's just a negative number here. So all we have to do is 1 over negative 3, because that remains the same, to the power of 2. So when we say we're changing the numbers from negative to a positive, we're talking about the exponents, right? We're just changing the exponents to positive numbers, not the, the whole number itself, not the base. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Earlier, we were looking at a whole number. Now we're looking at a fraction for a base, still a negative exponent. So if you're given a fraction to the power of a negative exponent, what do we do to change it to a positive exponent? All you have to do is just flip these two numbers, the a and the b. So the b is going to be on top and a is going to be at the bottom. So it'll just be b over a to the power of your positive exponent. Now let's take a look at a couple examples. So in this example, you have 7 over 3 to the power of negative 5. So just like we said, all we have to do is flip these two. So it'll be 3 over 7 to the power of 5. In the second example, we have 3 over 2 to the power of negative 3. So like I said, all we have to do is just switch them out. So 2 over 3 to the power of positive 3. Similarly, here we have a negative integer. So it's negative 1 over 2 to the power of negative 4. So the negative in the base remains the same. So it'll be negative 2 over 1 to the power of positive 4. Obviously, you don't have to write negative 2 over 1. You could just leave it at negative 2 to the power of 4. Let's take a look at our final example. Again, in this example, we have 1 over 8 to the power of negative 2. So in this case, once again, we have to flip it back to 8 over 1 to the power of 2. Again, you don't have to write 8 over 1. So it'll just be 8 to the power of 2. So this is a very simple and a short video that I made on negative exponents. I hope you found it useful. If you did, go ahead and comment on the, sec on the comment section below and let me know how I did and how I can improve these videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves.